gate? Oh, why is there enough? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. <sighs> this isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again! Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scan. Oh, good plan! Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that gonna improve our chance at certification failure? Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to... Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. I don't know if this will work. But it's worth a try. We're obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even s <laughs> You don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! My turn. Let's make it quick. I've no interest in conflict. Rules are made to be broken. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. The truth of life and death, revealed in the sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! Time for a shot. <laughs> Told you I could fight! Let's go. <laughs> Fighting is... running into the... Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's 
It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Move carefully. Naughty child. My turn! <laughs> Let's make it quick. Try hard to watch this awesome move! That's better. Rules are made to be broken! Too late to repent. The truth of life in the sanctuary. But a vision! Break! Time for a shot. Nap time. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Oh, thanks a lot! <laughs> I've no interest in conflict. <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> Here. Try that again. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. <laughs> Much better. Tough luck running into. Let's go. Too late to repent. Rules are made to be broken. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. 
Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know, Mr. Svara. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll... Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You'll have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we circumvent Clara in the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to be- Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's an... Hmm. <clears throat> Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. Hmm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! No interesting Time for a shot. Nap time. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. Try that again. You can't run. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> That'll be more than of life and death. The sanctuary. But the vision! Break! <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. That's better. Much better. Tough luck running into this! Let's go. <laughs> My turn! Let's <laughs> No interesting conflict. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move! Ruins. I 
were made to be broken! That'll take more than medicine. Now, time. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> Try that again! I'm okay. Truth take of more life than and medicine. death. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Naughty child. <laughs> Let's go. You're annoying! Time for a shot. That's better. Oh, thanks a lot. Let's make it quick. We need a strategy. Watch this awesome move! Move carefully. Naughty the time. truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! Time for a shot. Let's make it quick. Let's go. Try that again. I'm okay. You can't run. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. Next time. <laughs> you. Uh. Rules are made to be broken.
truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time for a shot. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. No interest in conflict. <laughs> That'll take more than nap time. My turn! Fighting is meaningless. Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much better. I've no interest in conflict. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Here! Let's make it quick. Much better. Fighting is meaningless. You can't run! Tough luck running into the me! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! My turn! Much better. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. A little something. Think nothing of it. Oh, thanks a lot. That's better. Don't worry about me. <gasps> Let's make it quick. <laughs> I've no interest in con. This is our chance. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. With the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. Naughty child. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Time for a shot. That's better. Ah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. <laughs> try that again. Naughty child. Don't worry about me. Rules are made to be broken. I've no interest in conflict. Tough luck the running into me. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. My turn. <laughs> you. Just a scratch. You can't run. Let's go. Time for a shot. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Here! 
Let's make it quick. Try hard to watch this awesome move. Let's go. I have no interest in conflict. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Now, cut. my turn. <laughs> Cute. Uh. Try that again. Meaningless. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. No interest in cars are made to be broken. Keep at it. Figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that. Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components. But the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparlog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparlog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah, I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. You two, give me a hand. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking. More helping. So that's how it works. Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her?
The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsider set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silver Mane Guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included- Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... He and Marge aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya. I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that Marge, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag. And let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Really? Awesome! Mm. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think in all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Naughty child. <laughs> Told you I could fight. Fighting is Reach the end of the story in your own way.
I'm back, Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? <sighs> I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will be- Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off com- Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it.
Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with Estelaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with Estelaron will result in grave consequences. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Execute annihilation. Calculating result. Move carefully. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Here! Rules are made to be broken! The truth of life in death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Naughty child. Running into me! <laughs> Phew. Let's make it quick. Executed. You can't run! Executing operation! Try that again! That's better. Oh, thanks a lot! Value exchange threshold! How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Execute annihilation. Calculating result. Move carefully. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time for a shot. The tryhards watch this awesome move! Don't worry about me. Rules are made to be broken! Push forward. Analysis complete. Anything more than that? High risk individual. Naughty child. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Executing operation. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of you. Much better. Fighting is meaningless. Now, Let's go. Calculating result. Value exchange threshold. It'll take more than that. My turn. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. I'm 
truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Try hard. Watch this awesome move. Executing operation. Uh, try that again. Let's make it quick. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Cute. Naughty child. That's better. Oh, thanks a lot. Analysis complete. It's more than that. You can't run. This individual. Let's go. My turn. <laughs> Here. Now, time. Try that again. Calculating results. It take more than that. You can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Executing operation. Go away. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of you. <laughs> Much better. Rules are made to be broken. Executing annihilation. Calculating result. <laughs> Naughty child. That's better. <gasps> Thanks a lot. Operation. Try that again. Analysis complete. <laughs> you can't run. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's make it quick. I try hard. Watch this awesome move. Running into me. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Initiated. Calculating results. Go away. Peace protocol terminated. Can't be. That's better. Executing operation. Oh. Value achieved threshold. My turn! Rules are made to be broken! <laughs> Executing annihilation! Gotta try hard, watch this awesome move! Calculating result! <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of you. Much better. A lot. Reinforcing. Analysis complete. <laughs> High risk individual. Now, time. Let's go. Family. Clara! Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please! Please don't hurt him! Claire. Ra. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders. 
are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Svarog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 131. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. Oh. Her decisions are not for the security of Bellabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <coughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <laughs> Destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, 
This was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't- Oh. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Mr. Svarog, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of Defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior. Intact. So your memory module is okay? I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are... Memories of family. I understand. Mr. Svarok, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. At daybreak, the Guardian shall be a glittering star. Illuminating the people's path. At nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Ah, oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. Hey. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. We don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied... No. You just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? 
I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. Ha! I knew that you'd get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Pretty sensible, right? My assignment was simply to take you to Svarog's lair. I got the payment and delivered the goods. I wasn't obligated to tell you about my dinner plans. But I threw in something extra regardless. I only did that because we're friends, or I would have charged extra. Here's a slice of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. Plan C. Hey now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight, that's all. Fierce words, fists flying, what's not to like? Easy there, don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Ha ha ha, you see, gotcha. <laughs> Seriously though, Sampo will always be happy to assist you. <sighs> the Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila! Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Corps for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Take a good rest while you still can. You're Don't be surprised. My job is just to help everyone make the right calls. You remember Rivet Town? 
When the fragmentum corrosion first appeared, we were defenseless. We didn't have a clue how to protect our homes. After we fled to Boulder Town, I made up my mind. A tragedy like that could never be allowed to happen again. That's why I gathered Oleg and the others together and created the first sparks of wildfire. Afterwards, wildfire began to grow. To be honest, I never thought a day like this would come. <laughs> what do you mean? That's me too, you know. The me that my patients see, at least. Our identities are like masks. When we switch between them, we change the way the world perceives us. But our hearts never change. Well, we don't want to act before the situation has stabilized. We need to wait for the right time. Ten years of being sealed away has sapped the underworld's vitality. Now that the furnace core is no longer blocked off, we need to prioritize the people and replenish our resources. Wildfire has never been in this for its own gain. Everything we do is for the citizens of the underworld. That passage is a means to an end, not the end itself. We'll leave them be. Svarag may have blocked off the Furnace Core, but he's provided shelter to the Vagrants from the beginning. An admirable deed. There are many homeless people in the Underworld. If they had safety and security, they wouldn't have to struggle to survive. Wildfire can provide that while Svarag is recovering. Things have settled for now. You should rest while you can. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After Equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. It is your choice to make. But in the end, Equilibrium will be upheld. You will obtain more, more of the material, more of the spiritual, more of the countable, more of the immeasurable. What is obtained will be in proportion to your strength, and thus in equilibrium. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change.
Interesting conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time for a shot. Nap time. Let's make it. I'm okay. No. My turn. Fighting is meaningless. The truth That'll of life more and than death. Medicine. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. Reach the end of the story in your own way. 